President-elect Donald Trump's incoming cabinet beginning to take a little better shape. As a matter of fact, each day, the transition team has announced key nominations and appointments to help fulfill his goals on national security, diplomacy, and immigration. All of the people named so far have been fiercely loyal to the former president. Naomi Ruckham has the latest additions to the team. Two sources tell CBS News that President-elect Donald Trump is expected to tap two Florida lawmakers for key cabinet positions, Senator Marco Rubio for Secretary of State and Congressman Mike Waltz for National Security Advisor. Donald Trump is not steeped in policy. Rubio sparred with Trump during the 2016 GOP primaries before dropping out and eventually backing him up through this year's campaign. We are patriots who love America. Walt is a decorated ex-Green Beret who served in Afghanistan, the Middle East, and Africa. I fully believe in his America First agenda. Yesterday, Trump also announced House Republican Conference Chair Elise Stefanik of New York to be his next ambassador to the United Nations, an organization she has criticized in the past. We know that the UN is a den of anti-Semitism. Meanwhile, former New York GOP Congressman Lee Zeldin was chosen as Trump's Environmental Protection Agency Administrator. Zeldin launched an unsuccessful run for New York governor in 2022. I do believe that at some point uh, there will be a re-entry to government. This as progressive House Democrats are voicing concerns over Trump's pick of Stephen Miller for Deputy Chief of Staff and former ICE Director Tom Homan as borders are. I think we're going to continue to see um, a number of people that have disturbing histories um, being appointed. And they're vowing to fight his plans for a mass deportation program. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News. Now, President-elect Trump's choice of sitting members of the U.S. House to his cabinet has caused a little controversy and some concern over what's likely to be a narrow balance of power in the chamber. That's a matter still unsettled. Now a week after Election Day, their seats will be vacant until special elections can be held to choose their replacements. This all comes as new members of Congress begin orientation in Washington today.